Hello, and welcome back to Random Vids. It's been about over a week since I did a top 10 video. I'm sorry, it's just been so busy lately. So, today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite Mario Kart DS Nitro tracks. I did battle last week, and it worked out really well. I like what I'm doing with DS and 7, just because I don't have a capture card, which means I can't really do consoles, only if I somehow try to do it like that. But, anyway, this is going to be on my top 10 favorite uh, Mario Kart DS Nitro tracks. This is the Mario Kart that really started getting creative with the Nitro Tracks. And I think it, I think Wii the 8 is definitely the best for Nitro Tracks. DS kind of started it. Kind of. I still don't think Mario Kart DS Tracks are as creative and fun as Wii 7 and 8. But they're still definitely good. And this is my top 10 favorite. So let's get started with number 10. So as I mentioned many times before, I really like the highway themed tracks. I think they're some of the best Mario Kart tracks out of like, I don't know, all of the tracks? I don't know. There's a lot of really good highway slash turnpike tracks, and honestly this one might be my least favorite one. Why you may ask? Well, it's definitely a little boring. It's not much comparison to tracks like Moonview Highway where you're all over the place. But I guess this track is okay. It's fine driving on it. And I'm just happy that it's just another new highway slash turnpike themed track. And it's pretty good, I guess. Like, I enjoy this track. If it wasn't for the cars, this track would probably wouldn't make it on the list. So, eh, not really much I have to say about this track. It's pretty fun, kind of boring, but fun, I guess. Enough to make it on top 10, so let's move on. Number 9 would go to... So here at number 9 is Good Old Peach Gardens. I think this track is pretty good and different type of track. You know how I don't really like the same things over and over again, especially if it's more the boring type of tracks. You know, if it's a fun track, it's fine to repeat. If it's not a fun track, it doesn't need to repeat. So, Peach Gardens, um, very interesting track for the Special Cup. Um, it's not really that hard, but okay. Well, a lot of the newer games aren't quite as a lot of the new Mario Kart games aren't as hard as the older ones, I guess. But this track, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Kind of like last track, I don't really have words for this one. It's fun to drive on. It's a fun track. It can get a little boring at times. The song is okay. It's not my favorite. I think song-wise definitely got better in Mario Kart Wii and up. I think that's why I keep saying tracks. I think I'm more um, looking towards the songs. Track-wise, yes. This track came back in Mario Kart Wii, and it was not on the list, but it was very close. It was the honorable mention at number 11. I honestly kind of forgot about this track, and instead I, had, I added Waluigi Stadium, which honestly I almost would rather add this one. I don't know. This track is good. Like, it's good for top 10. It's just, like I said, like Shroom Ridge, it's just kind of meh at times. But it's a fun track, and it's good enough for top 10, I think, in my opinion. So let's move on. Number 8. So here at number 8 is Rainbow Road for the DS. Yeah, Rainbow Road made it on the list. I'm not gonna lie, kind of... Like the other two tracks we've talked about, this Rainbow Road is a little more boring than some, like, they went buck wild with Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road, and I don't just really, I don't feel the same way about this track. Um, it's the first Mario Kart track to have a loop and a spiral, and that's about it. There's not really much to add about this track. 
it's a decent Rainbow Road track. It's decent for Mark RTS, I guess. Um, it's like I said, it's still just a little boring and just a little bit, I don't know. It's a fine track and all. Like, I like this Rainbow Road, just not quite as good as the other Rainbow Roads. The music's fine, at least the music isn't bad. But, not much I have to add, so let's move on. Number 7. So as you can see here at number 7 is Delfino Square. Yeah, this a lot of people really do like this track and I can see why. It's a pretty decently boring but decent track. It's a lot of fun to drive on, I guess. I, this track came back in Marker at Wii and I think the Marker at Wii version is better because, well, it just looks a lot nicer than the DS version. And... I mean, it's pretty interesting. My favorite part is by far the bridge, where you just fly up and over the bridge. If, you're, if I remember, this was on the top 10 best market we retro tracks as well, so whoop de doo it came back. Well, so this track is definitely a good track. Is it my favorite? Absolutely not. But is it a good one? It's a good one. And it isn't really as bo and it's not quite as boring as the other tracks that we just talked about. So that's re that's the reason why, in my opinion, I think it's better than the other tracks that we've already talked about. Not much I really have to say about. Oh, music is good too. Yeah, I think it's pretty good music. Not my favorite for sure, but it's all right. It's fine. Nothing much I have to add. It's a pretty good track and makes top ten for me. So let's move on. Number six. So here at number six is good old Luigi's Mansion. Ugh, childhood. Am I right? Like I said before in the past, this is the very first Mario Kart that I ever got. Well, we uh, get it and I forget. One sec. I think that it was 2012. I think that's the year we got Mario Kart DS. And then a few years later we got Mario Kart Wii and so on and so forth. So, even though this is my favorite Mario Kart, Luigi's Mansion was always back then my favorite track. I wouldn't play any cup. I'd only play the Mushroom Cup just because of Luigi's Mansion. And I understand why. It's a really good track. Like the, Unlike the other four that we've already talked about, this one isn't really boring. Like those ones at least. And um, it's very interesting. You go in Luigi's Mansion, you know that game from the GameCube that isn't as good as Luigi's Mansion 3. And, um, there's also those walking trees, which was always my favorite part of this track, and that's why, pretty much, like, this whole track is really good, it's a very well-detailed track, and it was always my favorite, and it's still to this day one of my favorites for sure. It definitely makes it top ten for me. So let's move on. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot. Music-wise, uh, music's pretty good too. Now let's move on. Number five. So yes, here at number 5 is the good old Bowser's Castle. There's a Recently I've put Bowser Castles on my top 10 list, and I like the DS's Bowser Castle. It's a lot of fun. One of my favorite parts about the, the one of my favorite parts about this track is everything. Like this is really a really creative Bowser's Castle. And I'm surprised it hasn't come back yet in a um newer Mar in another Mario Kart game. Kind of weird. But, um, this track, um, there's a lot of things going on, so it makes sure that it isn't boring. And it's a really good Bowser Castle track, in my opinion. I think it, um, it's better than, like, half the Bowser, it's better than, like, half the Bowser Castle tracks. You have a whole bunch of thwomps. There's that one section with that rotating thing where you can take that secret, um, shortcut. There's, um, that rotating... I don't even know what it's called, cylinder thing. And then there's those moving platforms at the end as well. And this track is filled with 
fun. It's a lot of fun to drive on. And, I mean, what else need I say about this track? It's a lot of fun. It's definitely top 10 for me. Music is honestly pretty good for a Bowser Castle track. Normally, the Bowser Castle music is pretty bad. Pretty much almost every Bowser Castle song, except for 8 and Game um, Boy Advance. But this song is pretty good. It's better than most Bowser Castle songs as well. Not much I have to add. It's a good track with pretty good music. So, yeah, let's move on. Number 4. Of course I have to add Wario Stadium on the list. It's a classic. Well, for DS. It's a really good marker DS track for sure. Probably my favorite. I know, I've added every track in the special cup and this one is probably my favorite i don't know bowser castle is pretty close second though but yeah this one is probably my favorite it's a lot of fun and it came back in market 8 deluxe and got a well not the deluxe it came back just in regular market 8 and it got a completely new makeover and it looks really different and really good as well and it almost made list just it made honorable mention instead this track though it's a lot of fun but there's a difference between Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where it had, where pretty much every track is good, and then Mario Kart DS, where the tracks are just okay, and then there's a few ones that aren't good, and a few that are actually really, really good. So, War Stadium will definitely make it on this list for me. And it's a really good track, I like it. I think it's better than Waluigi Stadium, mainly because of the song. This song is really good, well, because of a certain track, this song isn't as good as others might see it. It's a fine enough song, but I've just heard it so many times. It, this song is a pretty big meme, and I'll talk about that a little later. Spoiler alert, but I'm talking... I'll talk about that a little later. And, um... The song is just... okay. It's just... it gets old, because I've heard it so many times. I think the remake of Marker 8 is better, mainly because it's new. And, other, and nothing much I really have to say about this track. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a fun track. It makes top 10 for me, so let's move on. Number three. First block four and now this. I know guys, I'm a horrible person not putting everyone's favorite Battle Tracks and Mario Kart Tracks at number one. I am such a horrible person because I did that. I'm just kidding. This one, for some reason, is everybody's favorite. Not everybody, but a lot of people really like this track. And, um... Well... I can... Sort of see why. It's definitely a very different Mario Kart DS track. It's very interesting. You're actually driving around in a pinball and stuff. And a bunch of pinballs that are coming to crush you and stuff. And you're just in a big... It's like you're in a big pinball machine or something like that. It's cool. The problem with this track is that Walu Waluigi is a big, big meme. He's definitely probably the big, one of the biggest, if not the biggest Mario meme out there. And... This track is the meme track, for sure. Out of all the tracks, this one is the meme track. And if you don't have Waluigi and this track and this song together, it is not a true Mario Kart. And, um, it's a good Mario Kart track, but better than tracks like Ribbon Road from Mario Kart 8? Or freaking Big Blue from Mario Kart 8? I don't think so. The problem, I think the main problem I have with this track is that it is such a big meme, so I see it everywhere, and I mean everywhere. A lot of the memes is either about Waluigi, or this track, or this music. It's one of the three. If I type in Waluigi meme, this, one of those three things will probably pop up. And that's just the main problem I have about this track. It's been talked about to death, and it just really bugged me. And... I was thinking of putting this at number two, but this is just such a big meme, and I see it everywhere, so it's not number two. It's number three, which is worse than number two, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, I like this track a lot, 
and the music is fine too, but it's just everywhere, and everyone always likes Wally G Pinball. It's not like they're like, oh, I like this track, and that's that. No, they talk about it constantly and won't talk about anything else. They're always like, this is the best track ever, and he's been every Mario game. Every YouTuber I watch has this at the top, like me. It's just, I don't know. This track is just not for me if it's all over the place. It's a good track, and it's fun. It's just that because it's a meme and it's everywhere, it really gets old after a while. So it's definitely not number one on my list. But it's number three, and it makes it on the list. So let's move on. Number two. Like I said, this one was almost going to be number three until I forgot about how big of a meme Waligi Pinball was. So, uh, number two is good old Airship Fortress. Uh, at least this track isn't a meme, so I don't see it everywhere. And Airship isn't a meme, or Fortress, I guess. This track is a lot of fun. You get to drive around in an airship. This kind of is like those Mario Bros. 3 levels where you're, well, in an airship. And pretty much every other Mario Bros. game after that. This track is really cool. It's um it's been one of my favorites as a kid and it still is now. And I just I don't know, I really enjoy this track and be, like I said before, I know. I'm sorry. I'm saying it too much. I'm sorry for making you all Wally G Pinball fans upset, but this track is not a meme. So I don't see it everywhere I go. Every time I type in Mario Kart tracks, this one doesn't pop up as much as Wally G Pinball does. So it's not as obnoxious and annoying as that one. Well, Legion Pinball isn't obnoxious, it's just that it's a big meme and it's everywhere. Airship Fortress is not. Both tracks coming um, back in Mario Kart 7. Um, it's kind of silly this one came back in Mario Kart 7. I mean, nothing wrong with it. I actually do really did like that it came back in Mario Kart 7. It just took me a while to get Mario Kart 7. It came out 2011 and I got it in like, what, 2017? 18? One of those years for Christmas. It's a good game. And Airship Fortress is a good stage, too. Like, it's a really good stage. And the music is really good, too. So, I mean, nothing much I have to say about Airship Fortress. So, let's move on. And now, number one and my personal favorite Mario Kart DS Nitro track is... Of course, TikTok Clock is my favorite Mario Kart DS track. I'm f I feel like if Waligi Pinball wasn't a track, a lot of people would probably pick this one as number one too. And if this one become a big meme, then it wouldn't be my favorite anymore. I'm just kidding, because this track isn't related to anything except for Super Mario 64, which is kind of out of all things, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's not really related to any character, so it probably wouldn't be a big meme. Probably would have a, a few little memes, but nothing like, um, this is the best track ever, everyone needs to check it out, needs to be in every Mario game, blah, 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 blah. But this track is definitely a lot of fun. Definitely not as good as the remake in Mario Kart Deluxe, but it's definitely a very good, um, Mario Kart DS track, and, I mean, it's definitely my favorite Mario Kart DS track. Like I said in Mario Kart 8, it's just such a fun and different track. You're driving around in a clock, and as I said before, it references Super Mario 64 with that stage TikTok clock that nobody liked. But I'd rather pl I'd rather play the track than the stage. Do you all agree? Let me know in the comments. It's just a fun and different stage, like I already said. And say it with me, it's not a meme. So, like I said for like the a thousandth time, a thousandth time. I'm sorry, you Wally G Pinball fans, it's just that it bugs me. This track is a lot of fun though. I mean, look, comparing this to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version, there is definitely a huge, huge difference track wise. And the song is still good in this version, but I mean, remake is obviously better, but this is a really good song. I like it. And not much really have to add about this track. It's a lot of fun, and in my opinion, it's my favorite Marker DS track. If you have a favorite Marker DS track, let me know in the comments. So, not much. So, I'm. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.